Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve proportion by undoing division. We still have other methods of solving proportion that is using the giant one and using the cross product. I will put the link of those videos in the description box below and it should appear in one of the cards up here. Okay, so we're gonna go over this problem here using undoing division. So in this problem that we have here, three is divided by five and then 12 is divided by X. So our task is to undo the division. So we're going to get rid of the numbers that are on the denominator. To do that, we are going to, uh, the opposite of division would be multiplication. So we are going to undo division by multiplying both sides by whatever is the denominator of the first fraction right here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. And I will multiply this side by 5 as well. So then from here, I can go ahead and multiply them across. So that would be 15. So 5 times 3 is 15 over 5 is equal to 12 times 5 is 60. And that is over x. Or we can also do it this way. We can do that since we both have 5 and 5. You can cross them out. That should also be fine. So then from here, we can go ahead and say that uh, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So then that is equal to 60 over x. So it's pretty much the same thing. It's either you want to cross the 5 out or you want to go ahead and multiply these two and divide by 5. The answer is still 3. So because if you cross this out, left over is 3. Now if you multiply this, 5 times 3 is 15 divided by 5 is also 3. So it's still the same thing. So we still have a denominator. We still have to undo this. Again, to undo division, we are going to use its opposite, which is multiplication. So then I am going to multiply both sides by x. So I'm going to multiply this by x and I'm going to multiply this by x. So then from here, I can cross out the x and then the x. So then we are left with 3x is equal to 60. And then from here, I can go ahead and divide both sides by 3. I divide this by 3. So then I'm left with x is equal to 20. So the value for the x right here, which is the denominator of 12, is 20. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So first, again, um, the first step that we need to do is to undo the division. To do that, we are going to use multiplication. Since 7 is in the denominator of the first fraction here, I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. I'm going to multiply this by 7. So then from here, I can cross the 7 out, and I am left with just x. On this side, it's just x. We cross the 7 out, so this would be x is equal to 18 times 7 is 126, and then that is over 63. So then if you divide this, that would come out x is equal to 2. Did you get the answer um, x is equal to 2 on this problem right here? Good. Perfect. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we're going to go over the problem here. Again, we're going to use undoing division on this. Since we have 15 over here to undo the denominator 15, we are going to, again, to undo division, we are going to use its opposite, which is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply 15 to both sides. I'm going to multiply 15 here. So then from here, I can cross the 15 and 15 out. So I'm left with 18. So that's 18 is equal to, we have of x times 15 would be 15x, and that is over 5. Now from here, we can actually, um, uh, in some cases, uh, in this case right here, we uh, the 15 and the, and the in the 5 can be divided to 15, and we get a whole number on that. But um, other than that, if it doesn't work, this is the long method that we have to, uh, this is the method we have to go through. So first, we are going to, uh, since we have a 5 denominator here, we can multiply both sides by 5, and then multiply this by 5. So then we can cross the 5 and the 5 here. So we are left with... Um, 15x, so that's going to be 15x is equal to 5 times 18 is 90. So then from here, we're going to divide both sides by 15. Divide this by um, 15, so we're left with x. So our x is 6. 
Now, the other way to do this, the shorter way, since um, the uh, 5 is divisible to uh, 15, so we can go ahead and show it this way as well. So again, originally we got an 18, so that's 18 is equal to 15 x over 5. So then we can just go ahead and divide this since 5 works with 15. But in any case, if this wasn't 5, let's say this was 6, it would not work because 6 uh, is not um, six doesn't work with 15. So then we have to go through this process. I'm just showing you in, in some cases, it you can just go ahead and divide it right away. But in some cases, it may not work. So if this was 7, 15 divided by 7 would not work. So that means you have to multiply 7 from both sides. But in this case here, since that is 5, so we can go ahead and write 18 is equal to 15 divided by 5 is 3. So that's 3x. So then we divide both sides by 3. We divide this by 3. So then you can cross the 3 out. So we're left with x is equal to 6. So you have 18 divided by 3 is 6. So the answer is still the same. Again, you can only use this route if the denominator is divisible to whatever is the coefficient of the x right here. Other than that, if it's not divisible, then that means we have to go through this process here. We, you have to undo the division. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next problem right here. Again, we are going to get rid of the denominators here because those denominator tells us that it was divided. So we can undo the division by multiplying it. So then from here, we're going to multiply both sides by x. So I'm going to multiply this by x here. So then I can cross the x out. So I'm left with 36 on the um, left side. So that's 36 is equal to 6x over 8. From here, I cannot divide this because it doesn't work. 8 doesn't, doesn't go with 6. Neither of them go to each other. So that means we have to uh, undo the division again. So we're going to multiply both sides by 8. Then I'm going to multiply this by 8. So then from here, we can cross the 8 and the 8. So we're going to multiply 8 times 36 is 288. And that is equal to 6x left over because we crossed out the 8 and 8 already. So then from here, we can go ahead and divide both sides by 6. We're going to divide this by 6. So we cross that out. So we're left with x is equal to 48. So this is the value of the denominator of 36. Did you get 48 as your answer on this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!